All right, so unfortunately or fortunately, depending on how you feel about Aiden Ross, man, we are watching the downfall of him in 4K. This man has been on an absolute tear all week and to the point where people are really starting to think now this man might even be racist. Now, the first thing that, the, that he did was go to kick and then show that the platform allows you to do whatever you want. And in his attempt to do so, he streamed porn. Now, of course, he's looking at it as a hypocrite because, of course, he's been on paper several times saying that porn is bad for you. And then what do you go do? You stream porn to potentially a bunch of kids. Now, a lot of people are saying, well, that's not his responsibility. You know what I'm saying? People need to monitor what their kids are watching. Yes, true. But as a content creator, too, you also have a responsibility to know who your target audience is. If I know my audience is a bunch of five-year-olds, I'm not going to go stream to a porn site. Not saying that his his audience is five-year-olds, but you get my point. Next thing this man goes ahead and do is he puts his friend or a parent friend on his kick stream and the dude rattles off a bunch of n words as a white dude now again showing that you may or may not be racist are you using these words when they're white when nobody is looking because why is your friend so comfortable with saying it saying the n word especially to such a large audience that you have i don't know man if i was him i would have checked him right then like yo what are you doing but he didn't proceed to check him at least in the clip that i saw so of course now that's another strike to show that he may or may not be racist third thing that he ends up doing is going on gta rp and playing the whole racist cop bit where he ends up just again doing something in poor taste telling the dude to put his hands up drop the gun dude had his hands up and he proceeds to shoot him in the face anyway now of course y'all gonna say oh it's just jokes plenty of people do that man first off it's black history month secondly we just came off of a police brutality thing y'all like reading the room is very fundamental as a streamer bro knowing there's a time there's a place and recognizing when something is just in poor taste is just something you have to know as a content creator and a streamer and my thing is as i've said before i understand that aiden is young aiden is not you know i think it's under 25 or so or something like that he still has a lot of growing to do but my thing is it is very clear that he does not have one a pr team a public relations team or he does not have somebody in his corner to check him when he is doing things out of pocket like it's, it's really just comes down to that just doing things out of pocket when he was using um you know when he was on his come up through 2k you know what I'm saying? The stars in line and he ended up blowing up with Bronny and then he ended up building on his fame by doing um, G-A-Y type things to kind of get people to laugh and stuff. Yeah, it was a little bit, you know, depending on who who you was dealing with, who you was talking to. Some people found it funny or it, or it wasn't funny. But the thing was, his content was lighthearted. You know what I'm saying? And then we've seen this, this, seen this evolution with him where he linked up with Andrew Tate. And it just seems like he's been on this this tear of trying to find himself is what it feels like it's he's trying to be rebellious but also still trying to maintain this lightness to his, to his content and i i don't know man i just think that this whole trying to be anti-twitch trying to show um the world that you can blow up and do things your way is, is going to ultimately be his downfall these are companies they have brands they have things that they have to keep in contact it is all one big engine one big ass machine and so in his attempt to basically say fuck the machine he's going to end up fucking himself out of a uh, out of millions of dollars out of a brand out of a uh, a fan base a whole lot of shit man and like i said somebody who is a friend of his needs to call him and be like yo you need to chill the fuck out but i want to know what you guys think down below i'm gone